Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers in London. It's my a pleasure, a pleasure and a privilege to review, uh, somewhat a bit later this time round, uh, the Red Book. And I'm looking actually at the Red Book for 2019. That's the Family Court Practice, that's this book here. Um, it's now in its 25th edition and has, as usual, been edited by a very large number of people. The editor-in-chief is Lord Wilson of Colworth and the general editor is uh, His Honour Judge Anthony Cleary. The book's available in an original edition, which is this one, with an index which is separate, and I've also got to go with that, um, the first supplement. Um, the book then came out again in November of 2019, um, with the index incorporated into the uh, Red Book itself. I don't know why why they'd actually taken the index out. Although I found, I didn't really find much difference between using the index outside and using it inside the book personally. But I know a lot of people were not happy. So they, they republished it. Uh, and I'm recording this as a result of the republication. And I did an addition, I did an amended version of the review because of the COVID-19 pandemic which has hit us since the book appeared, because the book is concentrating much more on the issues concerning Brexit. More of that in a minute. The review that we've given, and the book comes to us from LexisNexis Family Law, who've taken over the publication. Very grateful to them for continuing to publish this book, because it's, it's the fundamental book for us in practice. And I call it the most important single work in family law, now published annually because that's what it is. I use it for my family law practice. It's extremely helpful. The notes are very helpful uh, concerning specific um, acts and sections of acts of Parliament. And of course, the case law is useful and also a lot of practice guidance is helpful too. Let's look at the book first of all. There it is. You can see the front of it uh, there. Then you can see the names of the people on the uh, on the spine. There's nothing on the back. Now you've obviously got the shaded areas and they, they set out, the first bit sets out the family court practice and these are the actual uh, Acts of Parliament and then the second bit is the family procedure rules. So you can see the bulk of the book is actually the first part is the statutes and the second part is uh, FPR and then you've got various other bits at the back. You've got uh, various other statutory instruments. Practice guidance is the fourth, actually the fifth bit. And then right at the back, you've got uh, some European material. There it is anyway. It's a heavy book, of course. The inside back cover, as, as is their want, has quite a lot of useful information on it as well. This is the summary of fees. Probably a little bit out of date now, because obviously things have moved forward. Um, the book runs to 3,000 pages. You can see the pages are quite uh, thin, so do take a bit of care because they can, they can get ripped. You've got some dividers which are quite helpful. I found that quite useful. I was looking at something concerning uh, the family rules recently. This is enforcement of various, uh, various rules and so forth there. At the front of the book you've got um, calendars, always useful. Amazing how useful they can be sometimes. Then you've got the front page itself there. It's a heavy book, of course, so I've got to be careful. Then you've got the blurb from Lexis Nexis, and you've got all the people involved. You can see the names. I'm sure you recognise a few people quite quite quickly. Uh, the usual suspects there, if I may put, you, put them that way. These are really experienced people. And this is where the law is, this is where the procedure is. And I think it's an extremely helpful book uh, for everybody. Um, we go back to 2001 and uh, Bracewell J, Mrs Justice Bracewell, um, giving a sort of preface initially. First, The first edition appeared in 1993, because we're now getting at it annually. And what we've got here is, again, a forward from 2017 from um, Lord Wilson. And then what you've got then is the introduction and that's from Anthony Cleary and that is looking again at he's talking specifically because it's dated April 2019 I'm recording it and writing this as an update basically in March April 2020 because I wanted to capture what was happening post-Brexit 
So you've got a lot on Brexit itself. Then you've got all of all of the basic information. You've got the statutes here. This is the Civil Partnership Act covered there. And then you go to the um, family procedure rules themselves. That's, for instance, that's Practice Direction 12J. Um, needless to say, that's an area that I, <laughs> I use quite a lot when I'm actually um, using this work. I don't use it as much as you would think in family matters because a lot of this is down to dealing with people themselves. But again, it is very useful to have the Red Book, especially when I'm advising clients initially, because sometimes it's useful to show them where the actual information concerning statutes, cases, and of course the, um, the actual procedures, which are really quite important, and, and basically basically helping me to advise them in the correct way. So what do I say about the 2019 edition? Because the 2020 edition will be appearing when I'm not quite sure at the moment. It's normally available in May, but it may be a bit of a delay because of, of COVID-19. But I say this, a quarter of a century has passed since we enjoyed the benefits of this great family law book for practitioners, published of course by Lexis and Nexis. Now the Red Book, as it's commonly known, covers the entire range of family business and it contains all the essential materials you will need to practice in the family court, as we now call it, um, in its different guises. And I appear in a number of different versions of the family court, um, <clears throat> mainly involved in children matters, which is part of my practice. Now this new edition is fully updated to include the latest case law, full coverage of new and amended legislation, the, the PDs, the practice directions, procedure and guidance for 2019. And it's still relevant at the moment, but as I say, the new edition, we have got the supplement, but the new edition will come out sometime probably towards the middle of 2020. The Red Book also contains fully and expertly annotated statutes and rules together with scores of unique step-by-step -step -step procedural guides which direct you eff effortlessly to the relevant rules and annotation. Now I think that's very helpful because you always need certain guidance. You can get hold of some of the, the procedural rules information and the statutes online but it's the notes that go with it that do assist, the annotations, that do help. Because that's again where sometimes you have to refer the judiciary to what is being said to, to shed that extra bit of light on what you're looking for. And the autumn supplement, which I mentioned here, that's that, that document there, that came out, um, it, includes, it says includes Welsh material. I'm not going to show you much about that, that's just the book and it just shows you the updating for the various parts and the part numbers and so forth. Um, and there is at the back um, a little bit of information about the Welsh material. But generally speaking that's the supplement and that came out in the November and then they reintroduced this book with the, in the index which had been separate. That's the index uh, from, from the old edition, the new edition actually has the index in it. Um, as I say, the original text didn't, uh, and so we, we got a new one. Um, the main work, of course, came out round about June 2019, and the amended edition came out in the November of 2019 at the request of, of practitioners. Now, I would suggest that you always read the introduction, this year written, of course, by Anthony Cleary, as dated 2019, <clears throat> prior to a number of things happening. And when it appeared, of course, the UK was still in the throes of Brexit, which continued to dog practitioners throughout 2018 onwards. Um, but of course now Britain has finally left the European Union. We've had general election, we've had a, a strong uh, mandate from a new government, a Conservative government under Johnson. And today we're facing something totally different, which is unusual, unknown to anyone really, and that is the impact, the devastating impact of COVID-19, which has engulfed the planet. Now, clearly, of course, going back to his comments prior to what happened basically in about February, March time of 2020, <coughs> as I rewrote this uh, review, um, he makes a trenchant comment about MOJ spending at that time and the constraints prior to COVID 
um, which of course I think will probably be reviewed in the aftermath of, of this pandemic uh, once the courts reopen because at the moment most of the courts are closed. Virtually everything I'm doing is virtual hearing by telephone or by uh, various other means and there is the development now of virtual platforms. Obviously a lot of things are having to speed up very quickly so I'm not quite sure where we're going to be going with the Red Book in the future. But at least we've got it with us for the time being. Um, it also, from LexisNexis, continues to be an excellent service for those involved in matters concerning children, which is what I do. And we remain very grateful to both Lexis, Lexis and Family Law for the depth of assistance which the um, Red Book um, offers us. And then to summarise, let me just say what some of the amendments are uh, which have been included in a revision for this 2019 edition. Um, you've obviously got amendments to the FPR uh, and it includes the updated PD9A, an updated PD27A, various comments on pilot schemes, the procedure for service of um, certain protection orders on the police, that's practice direction 36H. Uh, you've then got the transparency, um, and that's attendance of hearings in private, that's practice direction 36J, and you've got uh, practice uh, direction 36L, that's not using online systems. I think that's going to change. Um, that'll certainly be expanded, I would think. Then you've got the latest CPR updates current, covering, at that time, the Human Fertilisation and Embryology Parental Orders Regulations of 2018. And there was a new commentary added for that. You've also got guidance on uh, anonymisation arrangements for adoption visit, communication with UK visas and immigration and updated protocol or rather procedural guides. Now as I've said before that's what we've got for this edition and I think there's going to be a rethink clearly over a period of time as to, to what we get next. The cases we've got which you will probably know about Mills and Mills, Owens and Owens are on the application of Steinfeld and Keaton and um, Secretary of State for International Development and Williams and London Borough of Hackney, just to name a few. Those are the new cases for 2019 edition. And in addition, what the editors, that's not just Lord Wilson, but the others, the people mentioned on the side here, that uh, group, the very experienced practitioners, uh, what they offer is a new expanded commentary on the following areas. Habitual residents, care plans, legal bloggers, breach of reported uh, reporting restrictions, forced marriage protection orders, single applicants for parental orders under the new Section 54A of the Human Fertilisation and Embryology Act 2008, and again, in addition to that, voidable marriages, nuptial arrangements and agreements, rather, and disclosure. And So what you've got, and that's the list that they give to go with the Red Book, you've got a, a lot of useful current information that's up to date, together with the supplement. But as I say, things will move move ahead because at the moment we are, there's obviously been a quite substantial drop in the number of hearings and what is actually happening at the moment within family law. <coughs> but we can see that there will be changes in certainly the middle, <coughs> excuse me, the middle of 2020 onwards. Now, as I say, the publication date was given as the 26th of June, 2019. And then the new version came out. This is the updated. I'm using the old version here. But the new version came in 2019 in November, which included the index. And we remain very grateful to the publishers to date for producing what is a first class book. So thank you very much to all. Let me just remind you what it looks like. There it is. Very heavy book. Uh, 3000 pages in total. Um, just looking at the statutory instruments. Bringing children into and out of the United Kingdom, one area I've been involved in. You can see, again, I've looked at that relatively recently because of the convention. You've got a huge amount of information throughout. And just to show you, these are the commentaries, the annotations. Very, very helpful. They really do make life a lot easier for everybody. And I'm very grateful to all of you for giving it to us again. Thank you. Bye-bye.